So, welcome again. Again, <coughs> here in this chapter or in lecture, uh, we will learn the position property. How to set the position property in CSS? So, positioning uh, position property is the type of positioning method used for an element. Uh, where actually uh, how and where we wanted to position a particular element in our page. So position can be specific. There are the five methods of positioning uh, that can be give five different value to the position and that is static, relative, fixed, absolute, sticky. Okay. So for that we have to go to the same procedure. Here we go and save it. And the CSS and here we take the extension HTML and name it position. Mean save here and then here we go with doc type and then we have to write HTML here in the HTML we have to write the head section and we have to write the title title we have to specify positioning okay now I will write some why default the positioning in HTML is static okay by default the positioning of in HTML is static so have we take example uh, we just um, create a paragraph over here uh, say in body section we create paragraph this is a paragraph okay now here we select another paragraph this is a static position now save this and here we go opening this file the name of the file is not born uh, there might be some mistake with the path so here we have to go for this is spelling a P O S okay here is the mistake now look at this now we see we have placed two elements over one element is paragraph say we place another element over here say header h1 say we write hello over here so save this refresh this so here is the position of hello paragraph element hello and this paragraph is static play position they are positioned as per their own nothing is special done for them okay so in the next we have to so relative position how we achieve the relative position let's see we create a class over here we create a class in this section mm. For that we have to use style element this style element even can be used in the body but better practice to use it in head element so here we take uh, uh, a relative we just make it class relative So here we write position 
relative then we write position it left side and uh, make it left side say position it at somewhere around 40 px mm. then here we take say i will use border and to the border i have to give the size so i will give the size to the border say 2 px then which type of the border i want i want solid border so you give the property solid and here we have to give the color of the border so i just wanted it to be brown okay now if we create and uh, have we create a uh, device one div mm, then we take a div over here then in this div uh, we will write anything over here this is a relative this is a relative position okay save this now it's again the position this time is static now if i use give a class to this i use the class that i have created over there and here i give the name of class relative save it refresh it now look at this now this is position relative to this okay this is position relative to another element at the 40 px get it so this way we can make the position relative now after relative just we have to go with how to position fixed so with uh, fixed the element with the position fixed is relative to the viewpoint which means it always stay in the same place even if the page is scrolled the top bottom or like so that we will learn in the, uh, that we will learn in the last section uh, of this lecture so after absolute uh, relative we will go with the position absolute so how to absolute absolute uh, is the position relative to the nearest positioned ancestor instead of a position relative to the viewport or like fixed okay so here we see how to use this i just mm, i have to create another class over here mm, i will this time take class mm, i will name this class as absolute you can name it any whatever you want absolute okay and here we go and here we just give the position absolute okay here we give the position absolute and the position absolute means here we set top from top it's 80 px okay and uh, from top and say i just wanted to position it right oh right say it's zero okay i just wanted to position it right side so right zero and say i will take width of this say so it take it as 200 px then i will take the height i will define the height of this uh, say 100 px pixels and uh, i would make border for this i will use border so border i want of 2px say and i want the solid border 
and here I just wanted to give the color to this as green so save this okay so what we need to have we have to use a I will I will take another deep over here here and uh, here I write I just copy this this control B and instead of this I write absolute Here we go and refresh this now right now this is position as static okay so in order to use this our absolute class we just have to give use class over here and the class name is absolute say this now refresh it okay go here okay look so this position is this time absolute that is top it's 80 pixels and right it's 0 pixels okay so this way we can position the element absolute it will remain consistent over here according to this if we scroll it up and down or left hand or right Okay, so it lies between static side. So this way we can use the absolute properties. Then after this we have to go with fixed. How to use fixed properly? Now oh, okay. Here we create mm, another class, name it fixed. Okay, so here I have to give the value of position, say fixed. Okay, and uh, to this, sorry. Uh, okay, I just wanted to fix it at bottom. Zero. Then right. Zero. And it's I just say it's width. Uh, say I want to have a width of this is around 300 pixel okay and here i can even put the border property so border here i will use of say 3px then border style i say i wanted to use dotted and to color it i will say i will use gray mm, here is gray with uh, I just taking over here as another div and here I just div and here I write something any this is fixed position this now refresh this nothing is going to be changed over here okay so to make changes have to use class and class name is fixed save it and have it go refresh this now look at this 
go here look at this point at right bottom okay look at this point at right bottom it will cause fix a b scroll it left right left right it doesn't make any effect okay b mm, copy all this sorry if i just want to copy this from this control c then paste it again paste it again paste it control s save it refresh it again paste it so that our text will become scrollable refresh it save it okay now here we got the horizontal scroll okay if we are scrolling up and down what the position of this remain fixed okay look at this then after this is coming at the we are have to another layout is another position is sticky how do you use sticky so here we go we have to same way we just make a um, another class over here and the name of the class is sticky now here we use position mm, say sticky and one more thing we, we use position over here uh, have we use baby kit sticky what we did get sticky do that we will learn in the coming lessons so just use this mm, okay so i just wanted to put it top and uh, i just wanted to position it on top say position zero and then uh, say i just wanted to give padding of ipx so that we can really make it padding of five say 10 px and uh, i just wanted to give some background color to it so that while scrolling we can point it out so background color say i just wanted to give background color um, say blue and here we have to again use border so border here use border 4px then border i just wanted to use dashed here i use border double and color to the border i just use brown now save it and uh, in the last here we write this use dip dip and we here specify the class and class name is sticky this is sticky just going to save this here we go refresh so it's not showing me not at all so i think there is something wrong with the spelling we have 
ctrl c just copy Mm -hmm. color. This one. Save this. There might be some problem over here. Just cut it from here, and I just wanted to put it over here. I'll get this now oh, here we see now oh, it's become sticky okay so if we I will put it somewhere around uh, I cut it from here and I put it somewhere here it will be save this refresh it no I have positioned it here so how it works then we scroll up okay it will stick at this position okay it will become sticky so here it is scrollable but at this position it's going to be coming as sticky so this is what we consider absolute and ribbon fixed position so this way we can use the position in css okay that's enough for today have a good day